Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's nice to see you here. Hello my friends, so glad we could be together again. At my house I have this terrific book that shows me the story of the Aboriginal people who were the first people who lived in Canada long before we did. So I'd like to start by reading the Land Acknowledgement because the Land Acknowledgement is the story that says those people who were the first people here on the land of Canada, well, we're kind of borrowing the land from them. So we want to acknowledge that we're on their land. I would like to begin by acknowledging that the land we gather on today is the land of the Mississaugas of the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Wendat. And here in Pepperlaw, where I live, I walk the sacred land of the Chippewa and Ojibwe. We also recognize the enduring presence of all First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people. Look, friends, I have this picture again. It says, we are not stuck at home. We are safe at home. You're at home with your families. We're trying to take care of you. We don't want you to get sick and we don't want um, people to spread germs to each other. So we're back on virtual learning just so that you can be safe. You're not stuck at home, you're safe at home. You might recall that yesterday at school, I went through this booklet with you and we were talking all about keeping social distance and how important it is to keep you safe, we wanna be socially distanced. However, there's one page in the book and this book talks about keeping distance away from people and wearing your mask but one page says, sometimes, sometimes the schools will have to close. Just like today, the schools are closed so that we can be safe. And then one day, not too far off, we can be together again in class. We can read stories and sing and do movement and go to the gym, work on our cooking program, work on our life skills and our puzzles and activities that you love to do. So first, I'm gonna show you our chart. From earlier in March, we were talking a lot about our feelings. Happy, sad, Excited, like you're going to a birthday party. Ooh, mad. Tired and sick. The reason why these pictures are important right now is we, as a group of teachers, we want to keep all of you happy and well. We're trying to avoid you getting sick we don't want you to be sad. I know that some of you are excited because your birthday is coming up in May and that's something fun to be excited about. Sometimes we get a little tired if you don't get a good night's sleep. So you've got to keep sleeping, eating healthy and drinking water to avoid being sick. I wanna show you on my drum what some of these emotions look like. For example, rain. This rain stick reminds me of what it feels like to be sad. Listen to this rain stick. Look, my face is sad. kind of what sad looks like in your body. Now I'm going to do what mad might look like. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. That's what 
mad might look like or angry or frustrated. I'm so mad. That's what it sounds like. But for the people who have a birthday coming up, and that's very exciting, this is what exciting sounds like. Hooray! It's exciting! And close to exciting is the sound of happy. Here's the sound of happy. Hooray! Sound of happy. Here's the sound of I'm tired. Oh. Oh. So that's the sounds of our emotions. Let's get started with a few songs. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Well, I'm so glad every little cell in my body is happy and well. I'm so glad every little cell body is happy and well. We want to keep you well. We want you to feel happy. We want you to eat good food and drink your water and get lots of sleep and spend time with your family. There we go. How about Hey, dum diddly dum. Hey, dum diddly dum. Hey, dum diddly. Hey, dum diddly. Hey, dum diddly dum. Hey, dum diddly Vanny. Hey, dum diddly Sophia. Hey, dum diddly Sandy. using the drum. Um, I'd like to start with an action song and the song we sang in class, My Bonnie. But each time you hear the letter B for Bonnie, my Bonnie lies over the ocean, my Bonnie, letter B, lies over the sea. Every time you hear the letter B, you stretch your arms. Let's give it a try. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. My Bonnie lies over the sea. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. So bring back my Bonnie to me. Bring back, bring back, bring back my Bonnie to me, to me. Bring back, bring back. Bring back my Bonnie to me. That's a fun story. It's about someone who's in Scotland on the other side of the ocean. And they're looking across the ocean and they're saying, bring back my love. Bring back my Bonnie to me. Now we're going to try it a little bit faster. When you hear the letter B, you raise your arm. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. My Bonnie lies over the sea. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. So bring back my Bonnie to me. Bring back, bring back, bring back my Bonnie to me, to me. Bring back, bring back, bring back my Bonnie to me. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hand. 
Very good. Where's my tambourine? Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. Let's try clapping. Ole, 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 ole. Keep going. Ole, ole. Try stretching your arms. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. Now roll them. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. Ole. Ole, 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 ole. Very nice. It's nice to get your arms moving, get your heart rate going a little bit. Let's start to do some of our spring type songs. Because we're in the season of spring right now, oh look, I see the spring, I see rain, rainbow flowers, and butterfly, and a bumblebee. I see leaves coming back on the tree. And I see beautiful grass growing. That's what spring is. Spring is sort of the color of green, isn't it? Because everything, the plants are coming back to life. So that's why we have a special list of spring songs. Let's sing Six little ducks that I once knew, fat ones, skinny ones, tall ones too. But the one little duck with the feathers on his back, he let the others with his quack, 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 his quack, 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 his quack, quack, quack. He let the others with his quack, quack, quack. Down to the river, they would go. They wiggle, woggle, wiggle, woggle to and fro. But the one little duck with the feathers on his back, he led the others with his quack, quack, quack. Let me hear you. Quack, quack, quack. His quack, quack, quack. He led the others with his quack, quack, quack. <clears throat> Well, in the night last night, I heard lots of rain coming down. Here's the rain picture for spring. It's raining, it's pouring. The old man is snoring. He went to bed, bumped his head. He couldn't get up in the morning. And here's a pretty one about a song, um, about a daffodil. Daffodils tend to come out in the month of April. I like the flowers. I like the daffodils. I like the mountains. I like the rolling hills. I like the fireside. When the lights are low. Boom de yada, boom de yada, boom de yada, boom, 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 boom. Who doesn't love a flower in the garden? Here's another garden song. Soon we'll be planting our flowers and planting our garden. We do have our garden that we have at school and soon we'll be putting them outdoors in the garden. It's called inch by inch. Inch by inch and row by row. I'm gonna make my garden grow. All I need is a rake and a hoe, a piece of fertile ground. An inch by inch and row by row, someone bless these seeds I sow. Someone warm them from below till the rain comes trickling down. That song tells you that you need the sunshine 
and you need the rain and you need some warmth to help the plants to grow. That's what makes them grow. How about this one? Standing like a tree with my roots growing down, my branches wide and open. Pour down the rain, pour down the sun, pour down the love to a heart that is open to be standing like a tree. A tree is very solid and strong but it also needs the sunlight and the warmth and beautiful rain to help it to grow. So I'm gonna do that one more time. Standing like a tree with my roots growing down, my branches wide and open. Pour down the rain, pour down the sun, pour down the love to a heart that is open to be standing like a tree. You want to stand strong. You want to be strong. Here's a baseball player. This is a fun spring type song because the Blue Jays started their baseball games now and they're doing very well, I might add. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out for some fun. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I ever come back. It's root, root, root for the home team. If we don't win, it's a shame, I guess. It's one, two, three strikes. You're out in the old ball game. Baseball is a fun part of spring. That's when you know the weather is getting better, when they start playing baseball. Let's see. Here's a sunshine picture. I was telling you that last night it rained a lot, so let's sing this one, which is weave, weave, weave me the sunshine out of the falling rain. Weave me the hope of a new tomorrow and fill my cup again. Weave, weave, weave me the sunshine out of the falling rain. And weave me the hope of a new tomorrow and fill my cup again. Weave, weave. Wee. Some of you might remember that Miss Colterman loves to go out in her kayak or her canoe on the water. Every year I talk about going on the water. So pretend you're rowing or paddling, paddling in a canoe. I'm on the river of my life. So I paddle slow, but paddle strong. And as the waves go rolling by, I see a little more of me. That means that when I go out on the water in my canoe and I'm paddling, I feel like I understand myself more and I, it's my passion. I love going on the water so it makes me feel happy and it makes me feel better. You have to find the things that you love that make you happy. Some students love to work on their computer. Some students love to read books. Some students love to do art and painting. Some students love to do cooking or helping with jobs in the house. Work that you can do, you can help in the house and that makes you feel good about it. Um, some students love going for a walk every day and that makes them feel good. Getting outdoors and walking or running, jogging a little bit. Some students love to go to the park, climb up high or go in the swing. All of those things help students to make them feel better about themselves. 
Oh, here's one of my all-time favorites because it helps you to remember the colors. Help me sing this. Red and yellow and pink and green. Here we go. Purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow. Sing a rainbow. Sing a rainbow tune. Try it with me. I really want to hear you singing. Red and yellow and pink and green. Purple and orange and blue. Good for you. I can sing a rainbow. Sing a rainbow. Sing a rainbow tune. Terrific. Another thing I really love to do is I always love to go into nursery rhyme books and I love to sing the tunes from them because a lot of them are almost like very gentle po uh, poems and they repeat the line over and over again so it's easy to sing it or it's easy to say it. It's easy to learn the words and to learn it in English like hey diddle diddle, hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. So that's an example of one. Let's see what other nursery rhymes I can find. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went, everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Oh, here's the one I was singing already. Hey diddle diddle, hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport. The dish ran away with the spoon. Let me find another one. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. These are easy poems made into songs, but also poems that are good for learning language. <clears throat> ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for you and one for me. One for the little boy hiding in a tree. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Oh, this one's fun, too. Sandy, you always love talking about going to the beach. This is about a sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. And all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. A sea is another name for the ocean. So the sailor was looking, he could see under the sea.
Let me see, I'll find a couple more. Oh, here's one we've been doing at school lately, one we've been marching around the circle. We've been doing, the ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, the little ones stop to play his drum. And they all went marching down to the ground to get out of the rain because it's springtime now and there's lots of rain. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, the little one stopped to tie his shoe, and they all went marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three. The little ones stop to climb a tree. And they all went marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. The little guys stop to close the door. And they all went marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. Last one. The ants go marching five by five. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five. The little ones stop to see a beehive. And they all went marching down to the ground to get out of the rain because in springtime there's rain. But I also mentioned a beehive in there because in springtime, that's when the bees start to get busy making their honey inside the beehive. So I've been talking a lot about spring. Let me show you the spring picture again. Spring. Spring has the green trees, the green grass growing, the flowers growing, beautiful butterflies coming out. And here's the bumblebee I just talked about. The bumblebee comes out. Sometimes there's a beautiful rainbow. So in spring, we have all different kinds of weather. Some days, that's the interesting thing about spring, is you can see all different kinds of weather. Some days, it's very cloudy, and the sky is gray. And sometimes when the sky is cloudy and gray, it can make you feel sad. Remember I was talking about sad, feeling sad. Sometimes a cloudy day or a rainy day. Sometimes a cloudy or a rainy day can make you feel oh, a little bit sad. Those are the emotions that are attached to our weather. And some days are nice and sunny. Today, for example, is a nice sunny day. And when you get a sunny day, people's mood improves. They start to smile and they feel happy. It isn't any trouble just to S-M-I-L-E. It isn't any trouble just to S-M-I-L-E. So if you're feeling troubled, it will vanish like a bubble if you only take the trouble just to S-M-I-L-E. Smile like the sunshine. So that's the sun often makes us feel happy. Now this is also typical of springtime. You get some days that are really windy where everything is blowing around. And sometimes that can make you feel happy or sad, somewhere in, the, in between. 
Sometimes it can make you a little bit sad, that kind of weather. Especially if this happens in fall. Let me show you. In fall, fall can be very pretty because the leaves turn color. Of course, the pumpkin's out for Halloween and for Thanksgiving and, and everything turns color. But there's also sometimes some windy and cold weather and some rainy weather and those those that kind of weather can make you feel sad sometimes when you look out the window of your house or your apartment or wherever you live and you see that it's let's say a rainy day you just start to feel a little bit sad so you have to think of things you can do in your home that make you feel better okay i want to move on to um oh this Sorry, I do have one last picture with weather. This is a stormy picture. This doesn't happen too often, but that's when you see lightning and maybe the loud sound of thunder and the rain coming down. And when you see that kind of weather, you definitely want to be indoors. You want to be in your home so that you're safe. I have a couple of other songs that I want to sing because we have Earth Day coming up in April, on April 22nd. So we've been singing songs that sort of honor Earth Day a little bit. Like this song. This song shows you our beautiful planet where we live and our sunshine and the moon at nighttime. And this song goes like this. This pretty planet, it's spinning through space. You're a garden, you're a harbor, you're a holy place. Golden sun going down, gentle blue giant, spin us around all through the night safe till the morning light and that's what happens every day over and over again 365 times a year the earth spins around and around and around and so that you have half of the day is with sunlight and half the day we see nighttime. And here's another one I love to sing. Oh, look at our planet Earth. It's so pretty. This is what it looks like. There's a big, beautiful planet in the sky. It's our home. It's where we live. You and many others live here too. This is our home, it's where we live. Let's try it again. There's a big, beautiful planet in the sky. It's our home, it's where we live. You and many others live here too. This is our home, it's where we live. Yeah, we call it our home. Let me show you. We've been talking about this at school a little bit. It looks like this. Planet Earth looks like this. And we live here in Canada, which is part of North America. Planet Earth. But we've also been talking about this, which is important. All the different parts of where you live. Yes, you live on planet Earth. Here's planet Earth. But first I want to show you the other places you live. We all live, we all live with our family. We might live in a house, we might live in an apartment. Everybody lives in a different kind of place with your family. Some families have grandparents living with them. Some families have lots of children. 
my family where I live right now with my husband is just my husband and I, two of us in our home. That's our little bubble right now. So the first picture is our home is where we live. Some of you live in the apartments close to John, George Vanier School, uh, in townhouses close to George Vanier School. So that's our home. And the next one, we live on a street. For example, our school is on Don Mills Road. Our school is at 3000 Don Mills. So you all have an address where your house is. My street is up in the country, up near Lake Simcoe. That's where my house is. Your street, some of you are close to Don Mills and Shepherd. Uh, some of you are close to Fairview Mall, to the library, to our churches, to our stores. There's lots of things, swimming pools. There's lots of things around in the community where you live. So we live in a house or an apartment and we live on a street and we live in the city of Toronto. We are so lucky to live in such a beautiful city. And if you go downtown, you'll see beautiful buildings downtown and you might also see the CN Tower. That's the big part, that the big tower downtown that you can see from everywhere in Toronto, you can see it. And our city of Toronto, we have uh, lots of wonderful restaurants and fun activities to do and parks to go to. Lots of beautiful people in Toronto. So we live in a home. We live on a street. We live in the city of Toronto. And we live in the province of Ontario. Ontario. And the, the head of our province is Doug Ford. You often hear his name, Doug Ford, in the news. He's our premier, and he helps to take care of the province that we live in. The whole area we live in is filled with beautiful maple trees, and I've put a few, I put the loon here, and I put the beaver here, because those are some of the things that you see in Ontario. What I love to see in Ontario is beautiful lakes and beautiful um, hills and mountains that you can climb. That's a beautiful part of Ontario. We live in a home, which is on a street, which is in Toronto, which is in Ontario, which is in Canada. Our country is Canada. And that's why every morning we are so honored to sing, O Canada. We are so proud of the country that we live in, Canada. And it looks like this. It, I know this looks weird because um, it just looks like a piece of land, but we have a beautiful country that we live in. And another day this week, I'm gonna show you some pretty pictures of Canada. So let's go back again. We live in our house or in our apartment on our street in Toronto, in the province of Ontario, in the country of Canada, and the last one, here's the finale, on the planet Earth. And that's why we wanna take care of Earth. I know I keep talking about Earth Day coming up, but Every single day, we should be taking care of this beautiful planet that we live on. We want to make sure we have lots of water for people to drink. We want to make sure we have good climate so that people don't get sick or don't get 
injured by bad weather. There's so many parts to our planet that we want to take care of. And we'll talk about that during Earth Day and during the month of April. So that's more about our planet and a few songs for our planet. So let's sing our days of the week. We now have two days of the week songs, I might add. Let's start with this one. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Let me get the chart. Oops, here we go. Let's try it again. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. But we also love to sing Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And today is Wednesday. And usually on Wednesday, we're doing cooking at school. That's how we always remember what happens on a Wednesday. Tomorrow will be good for you, Thursday. And tomorrow, in the morning, we're gonna start with Mr. B teaching you. He's going to do a class with you and then I will be back on with you for a YouTube and we'll do some activities together. Yesterday began with the letter T. T, T. Tuesday, you're right. Yesterday was Tuesday. My favorite, if I had to think of a favorite day of the week, I love Saturday because I'm home and I can do some fun things, but I also really love Sunday. Often Sunday is a day when it's, when it's not the pandemic or when it's not COVID, it's a day when we often have my family here to come and visit and they might come and have dinner with us. So I like to have Sunday as my special day. Now, when I look out the, the window today, it is sunny. So I'm going to add another sticker for sunny. I can't find my stickers right now because this room is filled with all sorts of bags and boxes. But when I find the sticker, I'm gonna add it to sunny. And through the nighttime, it was raining, but it's not raining now. And it's not snowing. It's not cloudy. And it's not cold where I live. I'll have to find the sticker for that. So we know the weather and we know that today is Wednesday, April 7, 2021. The reason why we talk about the weather a lot in class, it's important every day to look out your window or to look at the news and find out what the weather is going to be like so that you know if you need to take an umbrella, if you need to take an umbrella to school. Do you need to wear rain boots if it's going to rain? Do you need to wear a coat to keep you warm? Or maybe if it's going to be hot and sunny, you don't need a coat that day or you don't need a sweater. That's probably the most important reason we look at the weather every day is so that you know how to dress for the weather. If you wear too many sweaters and coats and it's a hot day, you will get too hot. But if you don't wear enough clothes and it's a cold day, you will get cold. So each day it's important to look at the news. I like to look at CP24 and you can watch it from your house 
and look up in the corner and see what the weather is going to be like. If it's going to be sunny or cloudy or rainy. So we've been talking a lot about spring and I'm going to bring us back to this book. The spring book. Wake up! Spring is here! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Say the three bears. Bears like to hibernate through the winter. That means they go into a cave or into a hole and they just sleep all winter. But then when spring comes, they come out of hibernation. They wake up. So that's what happens in spring, is animals that have been hibernating come out again. Here's important pictures for spring. In spring, it can be rainy. In spring, it can be snowy. In spring, it can be windy. In spring, it can be sunny. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. It will help you every day. I don't know the words to this. If you keep on the sunny side of life. I don't know the words to that. This is what you're going to start to see. Blossoms on the tree. You'll start to see squirrels come out. I see little tiny buds on the trees on my property. They're starting to come out. This is what we love about spring. Everything starts to turn green. Green grass, green frogs, green insects, green like in March, we had green shamrocks for St. Patrick's Day. I see a green worm. Oh, in spring, and we already, we already celebrated this in March, we celebrate International Women's Day. And we say, thank you women for being terrific. Terrific doctors and lawyers and teachers and uh, women who take care of other people and women who have their own businesses and take care of their families and their work all at the same time. So proud of all of them. This is what we hear in spring. If you listen outside the window, you will hear the beautiful sound of a robin or other birds in your neighborhood. Robin in the rain, what a happy fellow. Robin in the rain, mind your socks of yellow. <laughs> this one, the little babies are up in the nest. And they. the thing about little baby birds is they love to sing. They have like little, um, they all have their own sound that they like to let out of their beak. One, two, three, four little birds here and they all sing their own song. It's so sweet. Spring is all about animals being born. New animals being born on the farm and rabbits being born. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen little babies. That's a lot of little baby rabbits. Now this is something special. Often in spring, people like to clean out their closets and clean up their house or their apartment. They call it their spring cleaning. And that's something you, my friend, you can help your moms and dads with. You can help tidy up. And if you have some toys or books or old clothes, 
you can donate it to somebody else who could use it. Spring is a nice time for tidying up. Spring is also a time for planting a garden. And in our class, we planted tomato plants and beets. And soon they'll be ready to transport to a garden outside and we'll see how they grow during the summer. Lots of people are growing gardens now to, to make their own vegetables, to have their own vegetables. This is particularly nice. Spring is a time of year to learn new things. And I really like that because um, we just had Easter weekend, but Easter to me is all about a new beginning for everyone. That's why we use the symbol of the egg. It's about a new beginning. So everyone can think about ways that they can add something new to their life or be different in a way, be more loving, more caring, more kind, more mindful, ways that you can help others. So this one says, it's a time to learn new things. And these sheep are all learning to play soccer together. Spring is a time to dance in the rain. Yeah, sometimes it is going to rain, let's face it. But I like the fact that they're smiling in the picture. They're not going to let the rain make them sad. Spring is also beautiful because we have lots of special celebrations like Passover and Easter with all the eggs, lots of chocolate around. We also love to celebrate the earth in spring. I like the flowers. I like the daffodils. I like the mountains. I like the rolling hills. I like the fireside. When the lights are low, boom de yada, boom de yada, boom de yada, boom. Here's Miss Coulterman floating in her canoe or her kayak. Lots of fun things in spring. Sometimes in spring, but mostly in summer, but sometimes in spring you can start having a picnic outside. Go and take a blanket outside, sit on it, and have a meal outdoors. That's fun. And spring is about saying, I love you, Mum, on Mother's Day. Comes up spring in May, Mother's Day. And you can say, thank you, Mom, for being a terrific mom. And here's the final comment of the book. Spring is a time of year to celebrate special holidays and discover all the beautiful things on the earth. Yeah, for sure. Go out for a walk. Go out and if you go for a walk, try not saying a word. Try to just listen to all the sounds you could hear. And think about the sounds you might hear when you're out on a walk outside. That's fun to do. And here's a poem about spring. The wind, ooh, so we know it's windy in spring. The wind told the grass and the grass told the tree. The tree told the bushes and the bushes told the bee. The bee told the robin and the robin sang out clear. Wake up, wake up. Spring is here. Let's try that again together. I'm going to slow it down and we can say it together. 
the wind told the grass and the grass told the tree. The tree told the bushes, the bushes told the bee. The bee told the robin and the robin sang out clear, let me hear you, wake up, wake up, spring is here. And here's another spring type song. I see the sun, I see the bumblebees, I see the flower and the butterfly, and let's sing. Spring is here, spring is here. Goodbye snow, flowers grow. Birds and bees leave on the trees, birds and bees leaves on the tree. Hello spring, hello spring. I'm gonna try that again. Spring is here, spring is here. Goodbye snow, flowers grow. Birds and bees leaves on trees, birds and bees leaves on trees. Hello spring, hello spring. It says we're gonna see the birds, we're gonna see some bees, and we'll see some leaves on the tree. Okay, let's do some breathing. Let's practice doing some breathing. I'm gonna use my hand for this one. Breathe it in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. out. square breathing. Breathe it in. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And blow it out. Breathe it in. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And blow it out. And here's one more. We're going to use the what's called the infinity sign or the lazy eight. Breathe it in and out. In and out. And in and out. There we go. So on this Wednesday, April 7th, I'm going to share with you a special chart that I want you to start doing at your house. Some of the students already have this chart and some of the students I'm going to be delivering it to your house. And it looks like this. It says, job choices at home. I want you to start to make a choice about things you can do at home. Recycling, dusting, wiping counters or dusting, make your own bed, put some toys or activities away, or perhaps some books on a shelf, set the table, all of you, can put the, tape, the, the plate on the table, the cutlery on the table, the cup on the table. At your house, you can sort some cutlery. Put all the spoons together, all the forks together, all the knives together. And if you want to try another uh, skill with your cutlery is practice rolling a spoon, a fork, and a knife into a napkin. Roll it, roll it in a napkin. Here's something I want you to learn to do at your house. When the toilet paper runs out, I want you to put the new toilet paper on the roll, on the dispenser, the on this roll that lets the paper out. 
Mom and dad can probably show you how to do that, but these are things I want you to start to do for yourself. And here's something you can practice. These rules, when you're finished the toilet rolls, you can use them to practice putting elastics around them. And that way you're really practicing using your fine motor and moving your hands a little bit to expand the elastic and put it around the toilet roll. This is your responsibility, my friends. You're a high school student now, so you need to do these things. Opening and closing jars. Wiping inside the sink. Wiping tables and counters. Clean inside the toilet bowl. Clean, clean, clean inside the bowl. Folding napkins, folding napkins. This is something you can do, my friends. We practice this at school and you can do it at home. Folding the laundry, folding laundry. This is another excellent activity for you. You can fold the laundry. You can help do the laundry. Put it in the washing machine or put it in the dryer. You can help sweep the floor at your house or vacuum the floor. And this one I love. You can put things in or out of the dishwasher. So these are some jobs I'd really like you to start working on at your house. You can be more independent if you can do them for yourself. That would be terrific. Okay. Now I have one more activity I want to end with. And it's a book again, because a lot of the activities that we talk about in class, there's books that go with them. To help us to learn it. So I've been talking about right now we have to be at home. We can't go to school. We can't really go to the mall or to the library, to a swimming pool. We shouldn't really be going anywhere because the head of our province, remember we live in Ontario, we live in Ontario, the province of Ontario, and the boss of Ontario, the premier, Doug Ford, said, please stay home. You want to stay safe. Well, we want to stay safe, so you have to be at home. And sometimes being at home makes us mad. Ugh. I get a little bit mad. I get a little bit angry. Oh darn, I can't see my friends. Might make us angry. Or I don't get to go to school and be around my friends and do activities at school. I don't get to go on the school bus right now. Well, you're going to have to try, my friends, to be happy. To try to find things that make you happy. And sometimes it's as simple as if you're getting upset, mad, angry, sad, drink some water. Drink a little bit of water to help calm you down. I'm going to have a little bit right now. There you go. Drink a little bit of water. You can always go and lay down on your bed for a few minutes if you need some quiet time. You can look at a book or read a book. Maybe you could do some art, some painting or some gluing. Maybe you can water some plants. Things that will help to calm you down so that you're not upset. And that's what this book is all about. It's called Bucket Filling A to Z. It's just like 
Um, we use that expression bucket filling. It's really just an expression that means it's something you want to do. I want to do it, so I put it on my bucket list. For example, some of you are learning to swim. I want to learn how to swim. That would be on your bucket list. Miss Coulterman wants to be a good, a really, really good um, uh, kayaker. I'm still learning to maneuver my kayak. I'm good at canoeing, but the kayak can be tricky sometimes. So it's on my bucket list to get better at it. So you have to think of a bucket list as things that you can do. And this bucket list is things you can do to be happy or to keep yourself calm. A is for ask. You can ask for help if you need it. Ask one of your parents or a brother or a sister. You can ask for help. Letter B is for B. Be the person to help other people. Look, he's helping. Be the one to help other people and it will make you feel happy. C is for cheer. Cheer someone up. Make someone else feel happy. This one I was talking to you about already. D is for donate. Maybe you could pass some of your toys, your books, your clothes. You can pass it on to someone else and that will make you feel good inside. E is for excited. And remember, this is how excited looks. I always say excited is the way someone is on their birthday. But this boy is performing in front of, he's doing a special show in front of all of his friends and it makes him feel excited. is for your friends. Spend time with friends. Well, unfortunately right now, we don't get to be around our friends, but maybe you can see them on FaceTime. Maybe you can see them on screen and you can chat to them and say hello. G, letter G, is for give. Give something special to someone else or give someone else some of your time. Like if you go, um, uh, if you go and visit someone, although we can't, that's the problem. We can't visit anyone right now. It's a little tricky because we're to, we're supposed to stay home. But maybe when you're online with Mr. B, for example, you could give him your attention. You could give him answers to his questions when he asks you, what's the weather like? What day is it today? How are you feeling? And he, you could give him answers to his questions. H is for heroes. Let's see what happens with heroes. Heroes are people who help other people. So try to think of ways to help others. Oh, I like this one too. Letter I is for invite. Now this typically when we're in school, we can all be together. And we would never want to leave someone out of the circle. We would invite them into the circle. So they're included also. 
Let's see what's next for the letter J. Oh, J. J is for joyful. And I love this picture because that means when you're with your moms and your dads, maybe grandpas or grandmas or um, brothers and sisters, it's, a, it's okay to hug and be joyful with your family. We have the rule at school that you can't hug at school, but you can hug at home. You can hug your family and be joyful. K, well, K is for Ken in our class, the student, but K is also for kindness. For example, this little girl is feeling sad and this girl tries to make her happy, makes her, in, feels Includes her in their play so that she can be happy. This is important too. Part of being happy is to letter L to listen. And this one's a little bit hard sometimes. But it's important that you listen to your moms and dads grandpas and grandmas, all your teachers, your brothers, your sisters. It's important that you're the person listening so that they have something they have to ch chat with you about or say. You can be a good listener. M. M is for make. Make something nice. That will make you happy. Maybe make a nice painting or some gluing and pasting and cutting. N. N. N is for notice. Take notice of the people around you. Take notice. That means look at them and help them in some way. Think of ways that you can help. Oh, here's one way you can help. O is for offer. You offer your help to grandpa. This little gal is offering to, wait, to rake all the leaves to help grandpa. Offer. P is for practice. Now this is important too because we all have things we love to do. Perhaps play the piano, play the guitar, sing a song, cook. Some people love to cook. And the more you do these things, you practice and it makes you feel better. So do lots of singing or cooking. If you love to cook, do lots of cooking. If you love to paint, if you love to read a book or look at books, do the things that you love to do that make you happy. And I'm going to stop the bucket book for today. We'll talk about it a little bit more another day because it's, it's a little bit of a long book. But the main thing is, I want you to be happy. I want you to be working, doing things at your house that make you feel good about yourself. Friends... I will remember you, I'll think of you, I'll play with you. And when another day is through, I'll still be friends with you. I'll see you tomorrow, friends. Bye-bye.